this Mass is offered for the soul of Father P. O. Jacob, Francis D'Souza and Vincent Lobo, Memorial Mass, John Baptist Lewis, Julian Pinto, Mary D'Souza and El Eliza Fernandez, Mans Mine, and the soul of Edwin Vaz, First Death Anniversary, and also for the following departed souls. Raymond and Teresa Lobo, Gratian Rego, Augustine and Neville Pinto, Mucharakni, Mariam and Osif, Clyde Pramod, Augustine Pereira, Baptist and Theodolina de Souza, Betty Fernandez, Carmeline de Silva, Deacon Ignatius Cotino, Edgar George and Francis Pinto. Stephen de Souza, Usha Ogwekar, Carmeline de Silva, Eliza and Philip Almeida, John Mendoza, Morris Ribeiro, Rock and Genevieve de Silva, Richard Fernandez and Philomena Robert. Deceased members of the following families Borges de Silva, de Costa, David Rodericks. Mendoza, De Souza, Fernandez, Pereira, Pinto, and Dice Lethau. Thanksgiving to Sacred Heart and Mother Mary. Thanksgiving for good health and for all the favors received. Wedding Golden Jubilee of Gerald and Dionysia De Souza. Jesus showed the depth of his unconditional love for us when he laid down his life on the cross. Today's readings highlight this love of God which surpasses all worldly boundaries of race, language, and religion. God's love is a, is a gift freely given to all people without reserve. As Christians, we are called to be living witnesses of this gift, especially in these difficult times, and love one another just as Christ loved us. As we begin this Eucharist, let us examine ourselves to identify what prevents us from loving others like Jesus did. Our entrance hymn, Celebrate God. Celebrate God with your hands. Celebrate God with your voice. Celebrate God in all that you do, and He will be with you. Touch Him in all those you love. Touch Him in This Mass is offered for all the intentions that were read out, for all the intentions of those participating in this Mass. Let us pray for the whole world as we did on Friday the whole day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Today, the sixth and the final Sunday in the Easter season, Jesus brings to us the theme of love. He says, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you, abide in my love. That all of us may enjoy 
the love of Jesus. Abide in his love and share this love with each other. Let us pray. We acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we pray, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the St. Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. glorify the Lord for his great love for each one of us. sins 
let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I too am a man. So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, Anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. And the believers from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter declared, Can anyone withhold water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked him to remain for some days. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Can you listen to the responsorial psalm? The Lord has shown the nations his salvation. Together. The Lord has shown the nations his salvation. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders, his right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown the nations his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown the nations his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth. Break forth into joy his song and sing out your praise. The Lord has shown the nations his salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. 
In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the proportion for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Let us all stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. According to John, glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I call you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide. So whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. This is a true story. A young girl, Lena, was dying of a disease from which her nine-year-old younger brother, Richard, had just recovered. Doctors tried everything. They came to the conclusion that there might be one solution. And so they approached little Richard and asked, only a transfusion of your blood will save your sister. Are you ready to give your blood for her? Richard, of course, was terrified. But yet, he said, okay, doctor. Richard gave his blood for his sister. After the transfusion of blood, a few hours later, Richard asked the doctors, 
Doctor, when will I die? It was then that the doctors understood Richard's fears. Little Richard thought, if I give my blood for my sister, I will die for her. And in spite of that understanding that giving blood would mean his death, Richard had said yes. Great fraternal love, love ready to die. This word love has been widely used. We say, I love Jesus. But we also say, I love my girlfriend, I love my dog, I love chocolates, I love ice cream, I love holidays. Everything seems to be same or similar. In fact, TV and novels equate love with sex. And they talk about making love as if it was something that can be manufactured. But love is not synonymous with pleasure. Love goes beyond all this. Today's gospel and the second reading mentions the word love almost 20 times. And when we look at what Jesus means by love, we can start slowly thinking about a mother who loves her difficult child, maybe a spastic baby. We think of the father loving her runaway son. Think of the prodigal son. We think of the family welcoming back someone who has been on drugs and drink abuse. We think of families which are so heartbroken because the girl has married outside the community or outside religion and run away and got married and yet she comes back after a year and the mother and father just embrace her and welcome her back. Love. These days we have been reading stories of how a senior citizen, elderly gentleman, gave up his bed in the hospital for his daughter-in-law, saying, I don't have much to live, give her the bed. And he died at home after a day. Of another incident where the son gave up the bed for his most senior daddy, father, because there were just no beds. Now, this giving up Something, giving up your pride, giving up your possession, giving up your own life for another is the love that Jesus speaks of today. And this love works miracles. It is the greatest gift, greatest power that God has put into our hands. It's a power all the money in the world doesn't give. It's a power all the knowledge in the world does not give. It's a power all the leaders in the world don't possess. It's a power all the armies in the world can't muster together. Yet love is a power that every human being has. Love isn't reserved for the healthy. Love isn't reserved for the wealthy. Love isn't reserved for the wise, nor is it reserved for the famous. Love is for everyone. Love makes us all equal before God, and before one another. And this is the love that Jesus gave an example of before his death. He bent down and washed his disciples' feet. 
This is the love he expressed on the cross, the reading of today. No greater love does a man have than to give up his life for his friend. And I call you friends. He calls each one of us friends. This is the love that he, has, he had for us, giving himself on the cross for us. And he invites us to abide in this love. Abide in my love. And so we come and experience this great love that he has for us to remain in his love. And then he says, once you enjoy this love, you cannot but share it with others. He has given us example of sharing by washing his disciples' feet, breaking his body, shedding his blood. A selfless, ready-to-die love. Ravindranath Tagore said, Lord, make my love fruitful in service. And this is a prayer that all of us can make today that we experience this love of God who died for us, that we enjoy this love, and then make this love fruitful in service of others. In the Gospel of today, Jesus also says, I share this with you so that your joy may be full, that your joy may be complete. When you love, when you love truly from your heart, it gives tremendous joy. Sometimes we give to receive. No, it doesn't give so much joy. But when you love, when you love without expecting anything in return, you love just for the sake of loving, you love because God has loved you, then that joy is immeasurable. Abide in my love and love one another. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Every Eucharist is a commemoration of Jesus' sacrifice, a sign of the Father's unconditional and boundless love for his children. With gratitude in our hearts, let us place our petitions before God, our Father, saying, God of love, hear our prayer. Together. God, God of love, hear our prayer. prayer. For Pope Francis, the bishops, religious, and clergy, that they may experience God's unconditional love and reach out to those who feel lost and alienated and welcome them back into the flock. We pray in faith. God, God of love, hear our prayer. prayer. For our country and its people, that during this pandemic, we may set aside our differences and unite as children of one loving Father to solve the problems we are facing. We pray in faith. God of, God love, of love, hear our prayer. prayer. 
for those lonely, people who have been separated from their families and whom we need to reach out to in love. That they cherish the love offered to them through the community and friends. We pray in faith. God, God of, of love, love, hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those in hospitals. That they may experience the outpouring of God's love and healing. For the bereaved families, that they may receive consolation in God's love. And for the deceased, that they may rest in peace. We pray in faith. God of, God of love, love, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our personal needs and the needs of the community. We pray in faith. God, God of, of love, love, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus. May we always remain faithful to your commandments and abide in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you, our heaven, uh, salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, all the bishops, priests, religious, and the people of God. Remember your servants, Father Theo Jacob, Francis de Souza, Vincent Lobo, John Baptist Lewis, Julian Pinto, Mary de Souza, Eliza Fernandez, and Edwin Vaz, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters for whom this Mass is offered. And for all the deceased members of our family, those among our friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Pius, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
Jesus has shown us the Father's love and we remain in his great love for each one of us. Let us pray to our Father in the words Jesus, our brother, has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. If you love me, keep my commandments, says the Lord. And I will ask the Father, and he will send you another paraclete to abide with you forever. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, 
who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on a development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that these vaccines are made available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for the doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they may be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities, that they may take the appropriate steps for the good of the people. O oh, merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now that we can't come together in the church, we have this Mass Sunday morning at 8 o'clock on the parish YouTube channel, which is the Multi-Intentions Mass. We pray for those whose funerals we had in the previous week, because now for funerals we do not have a mass, just the funeral service. So we offer this mass as a memorial mass for them. And we pray for those we keep months mind or death anniversaries. For all the souls for whom the mass is offered. We offer it in thanksgiving. We pray for couples celebrating their wedding anniversaries. Though we announce the names only of those celebrating their milestones, 25 years, 40 years, 50 or 60. Now all these intentions can be sent to us by Friday morning. We request you not to come to the parish office as far as possible. Let us keep our distance trying to break the chain chain and so you may send by a whatsapp message your mass intentions 9769193874 don't worry you don't need to buy hard the number i have already sent a message about this through the zonal animators and hopefully it has gone to the whole parish. Now, if you cannot send a message and you need to come to place your intention, then write it on a piece of paper and put whatever stipend you want. Put it in a box that is kept outside the parish office, marked mass intentions, and we will pray for that intention and announce it at this Eucharist. Even those offering the, sending the intention by WhatsApp message, if you want to put a mass offering, you can pay in the state bank account, which is also given in the WhatsApp message that I have sent to you. The mass, multi-mass intention box will be kept outside the parish office only during the parish hours in the morning, from say 9 to 11.30. If there's a funeral in the family, the first thing you do is to contact Jude, who is part of the cemetery committee, also vice president of the parish council, on 9820180. Four seven one. This number has also been sent to you on that message. Or you can contact any of the fathers. 
there is no need to come to the church. The fathers whom you contact or Jude will tell you what to do next. In fact, we have got one or two undertakers who normally perform all these services and they are used to the way uh, things to be done. And uh, before you even contact the undertaker, contact Jude or contact any of the fathers, we'll tell you how to proceed. We know it's a very difficult time, a death in the family, you are disturbed. First thing, ask someone to contact Jude or contact any of the fathers and we'll tell you how to take it on from there. We do celebrate baptisms during this time, preferably Sunday morning. So if there's a baptism in the family, don't delay. Contact the parish office or contact any of the fathers. We'll tell you how to proceed. Now most of you who were supposed to get married in the last two weeks have postponed the weddings. And I think that is the right thing to do. But if you're postponing the weddings, call up the priest who is doing your papers and inform them and inform the parish office. As you have taken part in the fasting and prayer with the whole Church of India, at our deanery level, Bishop Alwyn has organized a rosary marathon. He has allotted one day in the month of May to each parish and a chain of prayer of rosary through the whole month of May for the same intention. St. Pius the Ten Church, our parish, has been given this Sunday, the 9th of May, to recite the rosary. We will recite this rosary together this Sunday at 8 p.m. on the parish YouTube channel. Join together with the whole family. Let's keep a distance from each other. Let's take all the precautions. Let's stay safe. Friday, I know many of you, if not all of you, joined in prayer and fasting so that this pandemic may go away. I'm sure the Lord will hear our prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in each other. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our final hymn, Hand in Hand with Christ our Brother. Hand in Hand with Christ our Brother is love. your 